Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss how to automate asset management in Udo 16 accounting module. So let me get into the accounting module and under configuration menu, we need to create an asset model. So here under management, we can see asset model. So let me create a new model. Let the model be laptop. And here you can choose the depreciation method and uh, we have different methods like straight line, declining, declining, then straight line. We can also set the duration in months or years. So let me choose months. And we have different computations like no pro rata, constant period based on days per period. So letting the computation to be no pro rata. Here we can also set the accounting like company details, uh, company name, uh, fixed asset account. So let me choose current asset account as a fixed asset account. And you also need to set a depreciation account. So let me create a depreciation account. And you can see that the type of the depreciation account is non-current asset. And we need to set the code for this. And under automation, you can see uh, the automation type as no and create in draft and create and validate. Now let me save this. Uh, and we also need to set an expense account. Now let me save the asset model and let me get into the depreciation. And under automation, we need to change the automation or automate asset into create in draft. So as you choose the automate uh, asset in create in draft, we can see we can manage multiple items uh, of asset. So when you have enabled this feature, you can manage multiple items. So let me uh, show asset model. Yeah, here we need to set the asset model. So uh, here we have created the asset model that is laptop. Now let me save this. Now under accounting tab, you can see asset. So we need to manage the asset. So let me give the asset name as laptop. And here we can see under asset, uh, we can set the asset value. That is the original value. And you can also set the accusation date and you can choose the asset model that you have created. So as you choose the asset model, all other details will be auto populated by Odoo. Now you can also set the current value. That is, you can also set or uh, not depreciable value that is uh, the amount you have to plan that to uh, not to depreciate and here you can see the uh, current book value is 100 here you can see that the book value is uh, 1000 uh, this is because we have set the original value as 1000 and we have set the uh, method duration and computation uh, as a straight line and every details will be uh, triggered here as we uh, have set these details in the asset model. Now, let me save uh, this manually. Now we need to create a product for that. Just go to the vendor uh, tab and under products, we can create a new product that is laptop. So laptop is a product. Now you can set the product type as storable and you can also set the sales price and cost. Now save the product. Now we need to create a bill for this. So for that, choose a, a vendor and you can set the bill date. And you can fill the details of invoice line by adding the product. So we have created the asset that is the product is laptop. And here we need to change the account. Uh, and we need to set it as a depreciation account. Let me uh, close the taxes and let me save this. Now you can click on confirm button. So as you cl click on confirm button here, you can see that an asset uh, with one quantity has triggered uh, here. Now when you get into the asset tab here, you can see the details and everything. When you click on compute depreciation you can see that a depreciation board will be calculated here 
I mean, uh, triggered here. Now you can see uh, the calculations of the asset. So calculation have uh, already discussed in another video. So please do watch that video for further clearance. Now, let me back to the asset model. Yeah, before that, as we choose uh, the uh, automation as create in draft, we can see that the asset is created in draft. Currently, this is in draft state. So when you click on confirm button, this will be moving to the running state. Okay. Now, if you want to modify the depreciation, it is possible to modify the depreciation. Or if you want to save this as a model, you can uh, do that. Or if you want to cancel uh, the model, you can click on cancel asset. Now, let me back to the asset model and choose the uh, model. And let me change the, uh, let me get into the depreciation account. And under automation, you need to change the automate asset as uh, create and validate. And we can see that uh, we have uh, a field called manage items. So let me enable this. So manage items uh, will allow you to manage multiple asset item and it will be generated depending on the bill line quantity. So let me save this. Now let's back to the uh, vendor bill. Now let me create a bill for that. Just click on new button and you can fill the details of the vendor and set the bill date. As well as uh, you can choose a product. So let me choose a product that is laptop. And we need to change the account as depreciation account. Also, we can change uh, the quantity as five. So as we have enabled multiple uh, manage items, we can manage multiple assets. Now let me close the taxes and let me save the bill. Now click on confirm button. So as you confirmed here, we can see that five assets have created because we have set the quantity as five. Now, when you get into the uh, smart tab of the asset, you can see uh, the all the created assets are currently in running state because we have set the uh, uh, the automation as create and validate. So this will be automatically moving, um, um, moving and validating. So let me click on modify depreciation. So if you want to modify the asset, it is possible to modify the asset by setting the actions. We have different actions like dispose, sell, reevaluate, pose, and all. So let me uh, cancel this. And uh, this is how we manage or automate asset in Odoo 16 accounting module.